Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and we are going to be talking about chapter 15 in CA1, which is all about the equity markets. So, equity markets, we're going to look at the risk characteristics, quoted shares, why we do industry grouping, and what is a preference share. So, the risk characteristics of the equity market, well, the security depends, in fact, everything depends on each individual share. Each one is going to be quite different. It's going to depend on the market it's in, how profitable it is, the management, and all that type of stuff. But in general, um, the risk is going to be higher than that of the bonds. So because the risk is higher, we're going to have a higher expected return than bonds. Um, we will have a lower running yield than bonds because with a share, you're going to be getting dividend income and you're going to be getting capital appreciation. However, those two things are quite volatile, which also push up the expected return a little bit more. Um, unlike a bond, which has an expiry date, shares go on in perpetuity, which means forever, and the expenses are linked to how marketable it is. So if a share is very big and lots of people are trading on it, then the, market, uh, the dealing cost will be very low. But if it's like a penny stock or it's in some other little small stock exchange, the cost will be a little bit more expensive. And also, again, marketability depends on size. So you can see expense and marketability, they're all kind of linked. So if you know one, you can figure out the rest of them. Okay, so why do we have, why do we have industry grouping? So why do we say to someone, um, let's say you work at a bank or at some financial corporation, they tell you, Okay, you are going to look after the resource sector, okay? And then they'll go to somebody else and they're going to be like, you're going to look after the financial sector. And why they break it up into these industries and they let people focus just on certain areas is because it's kind of practical. I mean, you've got the same factors are influencing all of the, you know, if there's an interest rate movement, all the financial companies are going to have an effect. If there's a mining strike, then your resources uh, shares are going to be affected similarly. So what you want to do is by focusing on just one group, you can become an expert in just that area. It's quite difficult to become an expert in everything um, and also just adds to the structure of your decision making. Because remember, there is a lot of correlation between the industries they all affected by the same resources, there's the same market forces of demand are acting on them, and I've already spoken about it, like there's the similar financial structure, so the interest rate effect. Then we've got this thing called a preference share, and it's kind of like a bond and a share had a little love child. It's a, it's a hybrid of debt and equity, it's a type of share that if a company goes bankrupt, it does get ranked ahead of the ordinary shareholders, but below the bondholders. Um, it gets a specific dividend, and that makes it similar to bonds, but it's kind of like a weird, I don't know, the accountants created it for some strange reason. No, no, there is a, there's definitely a market for it, and what's nice about it is some of them you can convert into equity at a later stage, and it has been used quite successfully in the past for raising capital. Finally, like always, you want to know what are the economic influences on the equity market, but this is quite a big discussion. Um, so yeah, feel free to pause the video and read what I have written there. But yeah, stay tuned as we will be doing property uh, next, which is chapter 16. Study hard, guys, and thanks for watching. Cheers.